Welcome to Las Vegas Business Press Mentoring Moments. I'm your host, Debbie Donaldson. In each episode, we'll drop in on local business leaders who will share the early professional advice that shaped their careers. I'm here today with Scott C. Strand, Vice President of Western Elite. Scott, thank you for having us for Mentoring Moments. You're welcome. The best experience in reference to an example that I got had come from my own father. One of the things that he learned from uh, his wife and my mom was that she was uh, she was raised on a ranch and had kind of a tough upbringing. She was uh, she lost her dad at four, and her mom raised her there on the ranch. She learned to ride horses at four years old, and she uh, she said, "Do the thing you fear," and he adopted that as good advice that he passed on to me. Do you, do the thing you fear. But he added to that, and, and what he added was, uh, do the thing you fear first. And where I learned to utilize that for dealing with stress and challenges and things that are sometimes difficult, you know, when we operate as a uh, executive or a, a business person, there are a lot of things that we have to do, and some things are not always the most comfortable to do. Right. And so to uh, follow that advice is to clear your plate a little bit from some of the more difficult things, some of the more stressful things, so you can concentrate on other things. So I followed that. So when people look to you for career direction, is there anything special that you pass along to them? I, I think that the first foundation a person needs to have is some kind of background, whether that be education, experience, uh, possibly learning some kind of a trade. Ultimately, that may be a starting place, but you, everybody has to have a starting place where they can fit in you know, to have any kind of a career at all. You've got to become valuable to people. I think the other thing that would be valuable uh, for anyone is to have an attitude of, of growth where you know, if you're adaptable and you're able to get in, into a situation um, be, be willing to, to do new things. What we need now is more leaders. You don't have to have a job title to be a leader. Everybody in their position can learn leadership and it's by doing so, in my opinion, that we're going to have uh, individuals that have an opportunity to, to develop themselves. So I got great advice like that when I first started out in my career. I was told by, my manager told me my job title wasn't a leader, but that I was a leader and I needed to behave that way. And it, and it changed my life uh-huh. to, to make those decisions. And uh, so that's great advice. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for sharing so much of yourself and your, and your uh, growth with us. Thank you very much.